So this happened. Quote, Deadline reports that the opening weekend for Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, has been nothing short of catastrophic. The movie opened at number six at the domestic box office with $5.2 million. Damn! Earning DreamWorks Animation the worst domestic opening weekend in the company's 28 years of existence. God damn! It's doing slightly better worldwide with an overall gross of $12.8 million. Oh damn! However, that total only covers 18% of the movie's whopping $70 million budget. Okay, I expected this movie to bomb, but... Not like this. I mean, $5 million? Pure Flix films do better than that. How is it this bad? It's not an issue of marketing. I saw ads for this all over the place. The trailer shows it to be a typical DreamWorks movie right down to taking pot shots at Disney. The premise of the film isn't a bad idea. It's about a teenage girl who discovers she's the heir of an underwater throne held by a line of Kraken warrior queens who protect the world from evil mermaids. Okay, now that I said it out loud, I can see why that might not bring it out of people. But I still expected the movie to make at least $50 million opening weekend. Nope, it made a tenth of that. So, what happened? It's not like it had any immediate competition. Spider-Verse was out of the way in Elemental Tank, so there wasn't any other animated kids film to attract their audience. My first guess is that the look of the film may have been a turnoff. It leans heavily into the exaggerated CalArts style where everything is ugly and generic, except for Ariel. My second guess is that the theme of the film probably didn't resonate with a large audience. It comes across as a typical ugly duckling story with a chosen one twist. There's nothing wrong with playing on the idea of the outsider who turns out to be important. It's that the presentation in the trailer never makes it clear that Ruby is in fact an outsider, or why Ariel is the mean girl. My third guess is that nothing in the trailer makes this seem like a film worth seeing in theaters. It really does come off as a straight-to-DVD or straight-to-streaming concept. I haven't seen the film, so maybe it's better than I think. Then again, I got the same straight-to-streaming impression from the Strange World and Elemental trailers, and both those movies bombed. Screen Rent suggests that the film flopped because of lack of franchise interest, but I don't think that's the reason. The article mentions DreamWorks' previous success with The Bad Guys, and that was an all-new movie that raked in $250 million. The Puss in Boots sequel got $500 million, and nobody's thought about anything Shrek-related in years. No, I think the issue with Ruby Gilman is that it just comes across as generic. The concept isn't bad, but the execution appears to have failed. The thing about animation is that it takes a while to finish the film, so most of the storytelling happens in the storyboards and animatics. If it doesn't work there, it's definitely not going to work when you start animating. Just like with Strange World, I have to think that the people making this would have noticed that some aspect of the story wasn't bringing it out of people. Sure, there's always a chance that they're so wrapped up in the production that they didn't notice, but they had to have shown the boards and animatics to someone outside of the production team. You'd think someone would have noticed that it wasn't clicking and said something. Another weird part about the trailer for Ruby Gilman is something I picked up from Strange World Turning Red and the like, which is that I have no idea who this movie is for. I want to think it's for middle school girls, but nothing from the trailer seems geared to that audience. It's like with Turning Red, where it's about little girls, but it's probably meant to appeal to grown women remembering what it was like to be little girls. There's nothing wrong with making films like that. The problem is that they don't tend to do well. Ironically, the original concept probably would have connected. The original concept was called Meet the Gilmans. It was about a family of Krakens posing as humans, and Ruby learns that she's the heir to this powerful empire of superpowered Krakens. It sounds like it could have connected with an audience better. It probably wouldn't have broken any records, but it would have made more than $5 million. On the plus side, this will probably make more money from the Blu-rays and DVDs. I mean, how could it not? But what do I know? I'm just some guy.